According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Secret formula is awesome. Match point! You can just start packing up, honey, because I believe you're about to eat it! Oh. Thing. Oh, <laughs> that's very funny. Yeah. He's making the tie in the cab. Uh, why not? Uh, I don't know. It's like putting uh, a tie that. You are right, ma'am. Sure. Very. Have... Okay, Barry. All set. Don't be too long. So they have a huge. Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness! Are you. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. Well, he's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep! Uh. Yeah? He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. Or Alaska, moose blood, crazy stuff. Blows your head off. Don't kill me. Hey, what's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Hey, guys. Why hey, do I catch y'all down here? Did you bring your crazy straw? <laughs> Five at five. Five only. Look, in, in, in tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. But it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. <laughs> Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same beef? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. Oh. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Yeah, me too. Beast must hate those fake plastic... Well Sarah, it's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where all eyes and ears of the world are anxiously waiting, because for the first time in history, we're going to hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. If the Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five major food companies collectively. A privilege. You're representing all bees of the world. And Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. See, turn the world, Mr. Benson, my britches. <laughs> Talking bee. Robotic. Mr. Benson, call your first witness. I, I was with a band called the police. Oh. Not his real name, you idiot! Hey. Oh. Order, order. Well, I just think it was awfully nice of that. Oh, that was lucky. 
Well? Yeah, heat it up, sure. Whatever. That's where I usually sit. Right there. And Barry was looking at your resume, oh. and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? Do we? That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, oh. I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. Oh! Yeah. Uh. Ah! Oh! 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 Italian Vogue. It's a lot of ads. Oh, <laughs> Nothing inside. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flight. Am I? Oh, oh, oh. Who are? And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Oh! We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. You've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Gamble. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, illegitimate B, aren't you? Are they your cousins? Oh, I'm here! Oh, Lord, I'm here! Order! Order! Ooh, the venom! The venom is causing me my Please, veins! Mr. Montgomery! I have been failed by a winged beast of destruction. You see? You can't treat them like equals. They're striping savages! Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way! Oh, an angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my healing buckets. Please, I will. Oh, honeybee. <laughs> Mr. Flamin. I actually once heard of. I haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time shenanigans to go on. They have presented no compelling against my clients so all rosters. I move ace. Mr. Flamin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? <laughs> what are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Free the bees! Free the bees! The court finds in favor of the bees! What do you mean? Congratulations on your victory. What are you going to demand is all the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the... Take him out. We'll have a little nausea for a few hours. Then it'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate derogatory B negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health product human tea time snack garnishments. <laughs> I don't understand why. Phyllis? Oh! Speed. Pong, we pop. All right, Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. D. Official. Sorry, ma'am. <gasps> Let's see what. The hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. And once we're at the airport, there's no stopping us. 
stop. Secure. Been in your possession the entire time. Would you remove your shoes and everything in your pockets? Oh. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. And then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. It looks like we're going to be experiencing a couple of hours delay. Hey, can I get some help with this Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable ear and nose hair trimmer. Excuse me. I didn't say anything. Out. There's a. Good afternoon, passengers. Is your captain speaking? Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry! Right. <gasps> what happened here? Is that another B joke? This is Jill Tower, flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Is there anyone on board who has flight ex- Great. I can't fly a plane. The area of the wings and the body mass doesn't- You got it. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that! <sighs> Come on already! It is be approved. Oh, don't forget these. <laughs> All I needed was a briefcase. Oh, that bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it go.